Hello and welcome to another motorcycle maintenance vlog on the Motocutsi P72 Special. And today various jobs in hand but as you can see I've already started because one of the jobs in hand is draining and refilling the oil, putting a new oil filter in. I'll show you that stuff in a minute but before I do that I decided to check the air filter box because I've been reading the forums and um, Facebook page there's often a tr trouble with oil flooding back into the air filter box when it's been overfilled and when I checked the oil level on this bike sure enough it's full to the top also there was quite a bit of extra water in which was pushing the oil level up that reason that makes the reason for getting the thing the oil changed to get good clean oil in i was hoping to leave the oil in over winter because it's only done 150 miles since it was serviced however whoever did it filled it way too full with full with oil hence we got a literally got a pull and i'll show you the photos of what it looked like what i'm going to use to drain the actual oil is this little gizmo here which i found useful for pushing down the dipstick removing surplus oil um, so little box here to catch the stuff small syringe nab for work and i'm just going to pull up the surplus oil until it's um, dry uh, and then i'll obviously wipe it down and perhaps give it a bit of a clean with something okay so let's see if i can manage that now to do this i'm going to insert the little syringe into the bottom of the air filter box and suck up baby i've uh, added some essential items for working with oil which is a pair of rubber gloves because there's all messy stuff in here right it's, you can see it's also the oil is filled with water uh, or fuel possibly I think most likely water uh. Fun and games, eh? Good job I've done this because I, I think we're going to have to get a new air filter as well. As it's, I'll show you that in a moment. Because that looks in need of replacement, or at least. The lady took this bike on, on holiday, so she may have been in dusty or dirty environments during that, those holidays. Yeah, that's a good sign as I started to suck air up. So may well have close to bottom anyway right so last one for now and they go and get the oil drain sump right just quickly to show you the air filter which to me looks as though it's pretty close to needing replacement i don't know how much oil it's sucked up either right so kitchen roll acquired drain pan acquired and I'm gonna transfer this lot into here let's take that so yes look at that stuff you wouldn't want that in your engine really would you but whoever did the oil change last way overfilled it and um, I know who that was put it up on screen right so let's carry on with this i don't think we've got too many more of these to do uh, more difficult to get out the uh, that's drained into this area well we've just reached the point where we're just getting a mill or two now so i think a couple of glugs more and that will be it That'll be a lot, and then it'll be wiping and stuff up rather than sucking up. So yeah, moral of this story: do not overfill your motor gutsy V7. I think the air filter is still serviceable for the moment, whilst I do the oil change. Couple of bits of foreign material in there, whether you can see. That looks like seeds. 
I guess you could blow those out. But just for now, yeah, that needs replacement. So, however, it's now not in dangerous condition inside the airbox. So, next stop, refit the top and the full screws, trying not to lose any, and um, do the oil change. Okay, so that's part one of today's tasks done. So, replacement tank mount, drain the oil from the air filter box, looked at the air filter, decided it needs a new one. Hopefully, that won't be too expensive. Next part of the equation will be to get the oil drained and then fill with replacement oil so it should be ready to go in to have its shocks done tomorrow. Right, I've got a quick break now. Come back, start the engine up, get it warm. The engine up, got it running, trying to get it warmed up. Now, 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 that's not ideal. In an ideal world, I'd take it out for a good run and it's actually a nice dry day at the moment. But Fred alone has kicked in. I don't want to do anything unsafe, so it's a you know lesser of two evils. So a cup of tea and a nice free from chocolate biscuit. I'll to monitor the bike, make sure nothing untoward's happening. I'll then drain the oil. I'm done. Fit the oil filter. Fill it with new oil. Hopefully that's good. Good go. <laughs> Gonna switch it off for five minutes or so now. Let the exhaust cool down so I don't burn my skin on them. And uh, then I'll start draining the oil. And for that I have three sets of ring spanners, 13, 17 and 19. And three sockets. 13, 17 and 19. Oil, 10W60, it's fully synthetic, a jug to pour with, because I need to measure quantities accurately, and a flexible funnel. Okay. Oh, and the little dipstick checker tool to remove. Right. See you in a minute. Right, so I am very carefully going to try to remove the first sump plug without burning myself. It doesn't want to come off, does it? Move that to get a bit... It's cracked it. So, should come off with the open ender. As I said, the exhaust pipes are still very warm. They're easy to burn yourself. Point of no return now. Here we go. And I forgot to put my gloves on. Bad me. So that's all coming off and looking not too bad, I must say. Right. 
I can. What's that? Venom. Gonna clean my hands and put the gloves on, which is the thing I should have done to start with. I'll move on to the second plug. Yeah, second one. You just have to take my word for it. Okay, that cracked fairly easily. This one spurts. Both crush washers look in decent nick, so just dribbling out this one there. Ooh. A lot of filthy stuff on this. Don't know whether you can see that. So this mayonnaise stuff, as you can probably see I'm gonna is indicative of water in the oil so glad I've got that drained out the actual magnetic bit looks okay so no engine debris as such and we'll just give that a bit of time to fully drain before we try to refill so this is the main drain plug which I've now retrieved from the um, I don't know if you can see that there is a tiny little bit of swarf on the magnetic part of it not massively so it doesn't look really that bad and dangerous but of course I'll shall remove so it doesn't stay in the engine yeah. so wasn't quite as bad as I thought overall there is a little bit of <coughs> sort of mayonnaise from the uh, from the from water but otherwise not too bad now I need to re remove the oil filter itself right so this one's under here you probably can't see it and not hugely tight it's going to start coming out here we go here is the old air filter oil filter off she comes. Let's just stick that down there because I think there's a, a washer on there. <sighs> yeah, let's put that on on there to rest. Once again, time for a clean up. So next step is to get the uh, new air filter in so it goes in that way you can you see up that way there's a spring at the bottom I can manage to get the get the screw through that's a bit on the tight side there it goes there we go so, which way does it go? Let's see. Still a bit of oil dripping out here and there. But nothing too much to worry about, I think. Yeah, 
Let's try it up now. Yeah, here we go. Make sure that's is that correct though? Not sure it is. Or is it that way? I think that will work better, right? Right, let's try it again and facing forward is the correct way. Always best to check. So, let's put this into doing up mode. Okay, so apologies, the GGI battery ran out, so we're just filming now on the phone. So I've come round to the other side, I've reattached both sump plugs, the oil filter is in and tightened up. I haven't checked the um, torque settings as yet, but I will do that. The next thing to do is to start pouring in the oil. So for this I'm going to be very cautious about how I do this because I know that once you overfill the oil it's a damn pain in the ass to try and get get it out again. So yes, this may be rather more slow and cumbersome than perhaps somebody who is professionally trained would do it but I know that I'm a numpty, a clumsy fingered man who gets things wrong. So caution is the watchword here. Get it right. The first thing to do is get it up to a mark or, or thereabouts. Run the engine for a minute or so just to get the oil into the oil filter. Wait for a while, then check again, and then probably check again and again and again until I get it right. Okay, let's get on. Okay, so now we're on to the meat of it to actually get some oil into this bike because she won't run without it. Not more than a few seconds without self-destruction. I'm going to use a jug which has a fairly accurate scale on it. One litre to start with. And I'm going to add a half a litre. I say being cautious. And suddenly. litre of oil in. Let's see if we can add a little bit more. And some more oil here. I've got a handy mark on there. So, put dipstick back in. Ah, we got to run the engine to, to get some oil into the oil filter, which takes some as well. We didn't have the top of that. Now, we can stand on the side stand again. Gonna let it stand for a few minutes, all the oil drain back in, and then do a more accurate check of the dipstick and see how much more we need to add, if any. As I said, put in one and a half litres so far, maximum capacity is two litres, but I'm told you don't fill it up all the way. So hopefully, once the oil's run around the engine. 
it will settle down and it should be okay. Right, just going to check the oil level. I've propped up the bike so it's level and you check the oil level with the dipstick. This thing just resting on the threads loosely. And what does it say? Well, the level's at kind of where I want it to be, which is just on the little mark halfway up, which I'm told you don't feel any further than that. What I will do is I'll put the bike away now, put the seat back on, and check it again tomorrow after it's sat overnight, and then if necessary, I can just top up as required. Hopefully, I'm sure watching my builder's bum. People don't charge for that normally. You know? And uh, I've checked the torque for the, for the bolts. Uh, so I'm just going to torque them up now. But before I do that, let's take the bike off this rather georgy wooden stand. I hate for it to go over this late stage. Okay talking 12 nanometers not nanometers newton meters all right well although i do own a torque wrench it's ancient and none of this looks like uh, 12 newton meters or eight foot pounds okay but i know these that these are talked up pretty tight so seat back on Right, motorcycle boots, ride the thing back in, safety's sake, and we'll check her again tomorrow and get all the tools tidied away. So, oil change done. One further thing I noted when I was uh, got the bike back in the shed, this left side panel was loose, and also there was a rubber washer lying on the ground. So I checked and found it as one that was used for attaching the side panel. But I also noticed that there's an existing place where there should be a washer and there isn't. It's holding on pretty well, but I guess I need a new washer and it shouldn't be too expensive. So final job of the day is to put in some fuel stabiliser. As we're not going to be using the bike much over the winter. So this will be enough for, I think it's five litres, five litres, yes. So, or in layman's language, a gallon. But I put more than the gallon in when I filled this baby up. So I've got another one, not quite full this one. Yes, it's me proof. Let's just sort that for the winter. Oh, and I've spilt some. Of course, I've spilt some. I'm getting lovely. Right, well, anyway, I don't think that's a terminal problem. Uh, bits of oil everywhere. Let's get the filler cap back on. Right, chuck those away, lock the bike, and I uh, wonder what's next. Anyway, thanks for watching. Captain Clumsy fumble finger his way through yet another maintenance. But I think I've achieved what I needed to do with several steps on in some respects. The uh, rubber mount for the tank, um, the oil change primarily, uh, a lot safer than hopefully tomorrow. New shocks and sort the paint chip. Anyway.